through here in the snow. Nashville. Run. Anyway, guys, we just left Rippy's Ribs Barbecue Honky Tonk, Nashville. Freaking phenomenal. Look at this big, huge screen up here. Super bright. It's like one of the brightest screens in Nashville. It actually is the brightest screen. Anyway. Grab that truck. Oh, shoot. Huh? I mean, look at this snow pot up. We've seen this here in Nashville. Freaking four, five years, maybe longer. Start off with ice, and the majority of all this is ice. Uh, hello, guys. You want the light on? You want the light off? Oh, this is gonna be so freaking nice. Sephora's, Shake Shack, Kava. Not really sure what that is. It looks really nice, though. This new 5th and Broadway project's gonna be really nice. What is this place? 5B? Hopefully we can maybe on our way back from Stallman's walk back to the Zobro via 2nd Avenue. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right. So I'm not really sure what kind of video we're making tonight, guys, but uh, we are down in Nashville. Basically, everything's shut down. There's a few bars that are open uh, for us all to go out and have a good time and have some food. I mean, basically, uh, so anyway, we woke up and we saw the diner was open. Uh, all the stores around the apartment here in Nashville were shut down. And we have no food, nothing, nothing at all at the apartment. So we decided to walk up to the shell, get some drinks, some food. Uh, yeah, welcome to Fifth and Broadway. Very nice. This right here is all new. B big new development in Nashville. I'm not sure how good this video is going to go because I haven't really planned it out. But we're maybe just like, you know, walk around the city. Walk around Nashville. There's the all famous Batman building. Excuse my weird moves if that's on a different camera angle, but I'm trying to show. I feel like this GoPro is facing downward. But supposedly it has a wide angle on it, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, walking in the snow feels like walking on the beach in the sand. You know? First time in like four or five years, we got snow. Lots of it, ice. Mainly ice, but a lot of snow. Uh, and so, it's gonna take me a while to get used to holding the camera way out here in front of my face like this. In a big wide area. Is that how vloggers do it? Just like this? Yeah. So they're walking through it, hundreds of people with their oh, camera yeah. up in there. It's gonna take a while to get used to. Uh, I don't really have a lot to say. We're just gonna kinda, basically, I was scheduled to be at work at three o'clock this afternoon. And I woke up, I looked outside and I was like, there's absolutely no way I can go to work. Uh, woo. So I called out, my boss is like, yeah, it's fine, day off. Don't endanger your life. Driving in this, because we're not used to this down south in Nashville. Uh, so anyway, I woke up, we got, went to go get some food. Nothing's open, we found Broadway and found this place called Rippy's. Had amazing ribs. It was really good. This is really hard for me to do, walking up a hill. I'm out of breath in the snow. You can see that I am completely bundled up. It is cold outside, it's freezing, it's like 17 degrees. And we had a huge, massive ice slash snowstorm here in Nashville, Tennessee. Woo, look at that. Crazy, we haven't had a storm like this in probably four to five years. Uh, but it's pretty dang cool. You can see Printer's Alley is right down here where you guys have seen before. Yeah, there's no cars driving down the road. Maybe different in other cities where they get a lot of snow, but here, if it snows like this, everything shuts down. Restaurants shut down, bars shut down. But anyway, so, earlier we wanted to get some drinks, some White Claws, and uh, the liquor store, the DGX, which is downstairs from the apartment, 
what we found out was closed. So we had to walk up a huge mountain in order to go to the store and get our drinks and we got some food and some waters. And uh, I ended up coming back, taking a nap, got really tired, fell asleep. Uh, you know, we woke up and I saw the diner was open up earlier. It's, you know, it's like six stores, they got a lot of food. And uh, I went down there and they were closed. So I just take off down towards Broadway and I find like three bars that are open. One bar says they're only serving french fries, triangle mozzarellas and egg rolls. And I was like, oh, I don't really wanna do all that. I want like a good meal. So I just kept on walking. I found this place called Rippy's uh, on Broadway near the uh, Bridgestone Arena. And we walked in there, it's cool as heck. We had some ribs and catfish and turnip greens and baked beans and coleslaw and curly fries. It's pretty damn good. We met some people there from Seattle. They were here celebrating a uh, 30th birthday. And uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. All right guys, so we are outside of the apartment that's probably one of the nicest apartments in downtown Nashville. It's called the 505. Uh, I would argue that it's the tallest building in Nashville, but it's not. It's on the same level as the tallest building in Nashville which is the Batman building. Or it might be a little below it, because that didn't make sense what I said. Uh, some weird codes that I heard that no building can really exceed the height of the Batman building, which is weird to me. I think they may get past that in the future. But anyway, this is the 505. It is super tall, one of the tallest buildings here in Nashville. Luxury apartments, uh, condominiums, they're gonna cost you over a million dollars. Great place. If you have the money to spend, you're gonna be in a great location with a Starbucks over here, a Jimmy John's over here. Uh, what is this place across the street? St. Cloud's Corner. Looks like maybe a, a bar across the street. Uh, I can see some more restaurants down this way, Printer's Alley down this way. Prime location and a beautiful place to be here in Nashville. So, we'll just continue walking through here, out here in the cold, because I am for a reason. Woo! All right. Get me a venti ice caramel macchiato quad. Going to Jimmy John's, get me a number nine Italian with that spicy ranch sauce and some kettle chips. Here's a better view of the 505. It's kind of cool to have a nice gated in garage. Guys, this is one place that I definitely wanted to show y'all. It is Woolworths. I just stumbled upon it one day when I was here coming through the city. It's great. It gives you that old, old diner feel. Uh, it looks like they might be closed due to the weather, obviously, but it gives you that old diner feel. Uh, back in the day, I'm not sure what year, but they had the national sit-ins. When black people came in, they sat down and said that we will be served. We will be served. And uh, it was a big deal. And the place has been here for years and years and years, and it's really great. So, Due to the 19th April bombing of attorney Z. Alexander Luby's home, a diverse crowd of approximately 3,000 to 4,000 people silently marched from Tennessee A&I State University to the courthouse, where Mayor Ben West met them at the steps. After an intense dialogue between Mayor West and student leader, the Rev C.T. Vivian Diane Nash stepped forward and asked the mayor if he recommended that lunch counters be desegregated. The mayor agreed and the next morning, the Nashville, Tennessee and read, integrate counters, mayor. On May 10th of 1960, Nashville became the first major city to begin desegregating its public facilities when six downtown stores, led by Harvey and Kane Sloan, opened their lunch counters to African Americans. The National Student Protest Movement desegregated all public facilities, did not end in, until 1964. So this right here was one of the uh, first restaurants here in Nashville, actually may have been the first, that desegregated its counters. Uh, whenever the African Americans first came in and sat down, uh, they actually did come at them pretty hard and tried to make them leave and more than likely took them out in handcuffs. Uh, but after all of that was said, this place was able to have black people and white people dine together in the same environment. 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, 
the right of the citizens of the United States to vote shall be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of Sayer. So we're actually walking over here to the courthouse across the street from the stallman to have a white claw. Oh, jump over here. You're probably asking, what the hell would y'all go to a courthouse to have a white claw? Uh, it's actually a cool place to hang out. It's like a common area. They got water fountains and stuff like that. So that's what we're about to do. You ready for a white claw? This is what I was talking about. All right. Now look at these stairs. Normally these are normal stairs, but watch when you walk up it. They don't sink in because it's not snow, it's ice. You know what? They should probably make stairs like that. It actually feels a lot easier to walk up them. Yeah. Let's try it again right here. Oh, much easier. They should have made stairs differently. I guess the Greeks. Yeah, I don't know. See, it's not snow. It's all ice. I could probably pick up this whole ice sheet. If I could break it apart. I don't know. That's all it is, is ice. Like when we're walking all this, it's deep, but it's full ice. It's not snow, but it is snowing right now. So there's a little bit of snow mixed in with it. All right. You know, the sad thing is you see the small slowing death of the scooters here in the city. They're just all knocked over and, you know, down into the snow and the ice. Now, if the apocalypse ever happens, we got a plan. So let's say we all live here in Nashville or say we don't live here in Nashville. Let's say that I live in Nashville, Bradley lives in Nashville. We're down here and the fucking apocalypse happens. The plan is we're gonna go to the courthouse and we're gonna spin this wheel. It's gonna turn the pointer, but it ain't doing it right now because it's probably frozen. That way, if the apocalypse happens, you're like, where's Bradley and I show up here? I'm like, where's Bradley at? Bradley! I look up, I know that he went in that direction. So I'm gonna walk to this direction. And he'll be waiting somewhere with a bug out bag. Cop you know, cars and smoke bombs and all kinds of stuff that happened here at the courthouse. Uh, which for all the locals, we were pissed off. Like this is our city. Why are you turning up our city? But it didn't just happen here in Nashville, it happened all over the United States. This is a, uh, this ice is breaking as I'm walking. Yeah, so anyway, you know, and this right here is actually the window. Uh, I remember seeing this on the news. This was the window where one of those People broke out the window, tried to light the place on fire. Courthouse and city hall. You know, it was right here. These must be new. The windows should be new, but they don't look new. They kept the same feel and look of this old building. But yeah, they broke out these windows and they tried to climb in and throw Mazel Tov cocktail bombs. I thought that was gonna bust and I was gonna be like, like this. All right, <laughs> never mind. Ice ain't breaking up here. I'll take a white claw now. Nashville. Do you know this year of 20? You can't just stop somebody when they're talking like the that. Better just On the butt? Oh. God damn it. The light on? No, like the big light. Red light? No, the light. We'll do it live! God damn it! So guys, I was just asked, like, is there anything else that I want to say? And I was thinking, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here in this very iconic place here in Nashville. We're at the courthouse overlooking 2nd Avenue. You have the Stallman right here where uh, my brother Bradley used to live. Uh, you know, a lot has happened in 2020, you know, with COVID that hit, the tornadoes that ran right through here, the Nashville tornadoes the big bombing that happened on 2nd Avenue. I've yet to go down 2nd Avenue. 
since the bombing. We're gonna try to go down there tonight and walk through there just to see, you know, what's going on, what's happened since the bombing. Uh, and then this iconic snowstorm that's, ice storm that's hit us here. I mean, you know, it's crazy. Uh, but anyway, uh, just crazy. Nashville's strong. That's what all it's all, it's all about. Nashville strong. Nashville's always gonna say stuff tough. You know, you can, uh, shit can happen to us. Tornadoes, bombings, COVID, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. And we're still here. We're still going, snowstorms. It's a great place, great people, great food, great atmosphere. Uh, you know, hey, Nashville strong. All right, so what we're about to do here in just one second, we're going to try to walk toward back to the Sobro Apartments uh, on 3rd and November and see if we can walk through 2nd Ave and see where the bomb hit. If not, we won't be able to, but if we can, we will. All right, it's hard for me to talk because my mouth is freezing up. Everything is cold. It's 12 degrees out here tonight. Uh, very cold. Welcome to this area. You know, it's a great place to come hang out when you're in Nashville. Come over here to the courthouse. They have on the green, they have concerts, they have all kinds of stuff that happens here. Uh, it's usually a pretty chill, cool place. You'll see people put their little e-news out here and they'll just get back in their e-news, their hammocks or whatever, and just relax, you know, reading a chapter book, drinking some wine with their dog. All right, that's all I got. Hey guys, and thank you so much for watching another episode of Golf Vlogs. It's very cold outside, we are back. We're sorry that the video cut off abruptly, but our battery died. This is day number two. Uh, we are here. It's cold still. It's still ice all over the roads, snow's all over the roads. We tried to walk you guys down 2nd Avenue to see the big, where the big bomb went off and show you the destruction of what happened. But unfortunately, we started walking down through there. There were some cop cars that cut their lights on and we couldn't actually walk through there. So we had to like turn around and walk back around. We are back. <laughs> it's freezing cold outside. Guys, thank y'all so much for watching our videos. We hope you like our videos. If you really do like them, please comment down below, subscribe, and ring the ding dong bell. That way, next time that we post a video, you'll be notified that we posted a video. Thank you guys so much, and we'll catch you at the next video. We got our hot bowl of water right here. You guys ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Evaporated into the sky. Pretty damn cool, eh? Hey!